Hello there, beautiful friends. Today is Disney Day. We are getting ready to go. It's around 10 a.m. I actually had to work this morning. If you don't know, I work at 3 a.m. But I work part time, so I got off work at uh, around 8 a.m. And we were finishing packing. No, we did not pack up the whole house. It is empty right now. <laughs> and we didn't get robbed either. What? What? Where did all the furniture go? What? Jasper? Did you take it? We are having a little bit of work done on the house while we're away because the floor that you can see is nice and all, but the grout is the dark lines that you see. They're not supposed to be dark. So we got the wrong stuff and they're gonna come and replace it. It's not the most convenient fix, but it's one of those things that you look at it every time you see it and think about it, so. Yep, looks like we just moved in, pretty much. So this guy is ready for Disney. He woke up a little while ago. He woke up at, well, what time did he wake up? And you're so excited, he woke up around 9.30. And you still have your Mickey PJs on. Mickey and friends. This is his first long car ride. We are driving to Disney. And I'm pretty nervous, but <laughs> hopefully we uh, prepared well enough. We'll see how he does. But anyway, we have to uh, finish loading the car. And we gotta get out of here. I'm pretty tired. Hopefully I'll be able to take a nap on the way because my husband is driving. Um, because as I said, I had to wake up before 3 a.m. today. And it's uh, three and a half hours from here to the Yacht Club where we are staying. So hopefully um, I'll be able to take a little nap. The one thing I'm super sad about is Jasper. We have to leave him behind. So we're gonna board him. We're taking him to a place right now. It's a really good place. Like it's a lot of fun. They even have like a pool for dogs and a lot of land and you know, other dogs that he could play with, but still. I'm not used to leaving him behind. We normally take him to Disney and we stay at the cabins with that he loves, but this time he's not going because, uh, well, the whole purpose of this trip was not to go to Disney, but to go to Mississippi. We're driving all the way to Mississippi, but since uh, Orlando's on the way, we're, make, we're gonna make a little stop because, duh. He's got Dumbo his traveling buddy. Hi, are you ready for Disney? You're traveling with Dumbo? Well, this thing is, Packed. You would think we were moving away, but nope, that's just traveling with a baby. I may have overpacked, probably, but uh, better be safe than sorry. I'd rather have too much than not enough. All right, first stop, dropping Jasper off. I'm pretty sad. Aww. I know, Logan. I don't like it either. All right. Logan's getting upset too. See you soon, buddy. He'll probably have fun, but I'm the one who's sad. We're not used to being apart. And while Jasper is getting dropped off, I'm gonna feed this. Eat this. Yeah, you want your milk? Feed this baby. He seems a little tired, so it would be great if he took a nap. He actually slept a little less today than he normally does. Hey, you getting tired? I have some toys for the car right here. I'll give him a one by one if he gets fuzzy. I feel like it's a matter of when and not if. He just fell asleep. We are now less than three hours away. He's supposed to nap at one and it is now close to 12.30. So he's a little early, but I'll allow it. All right, we are less than an hour away. He slept for a good hour, hour and a half. So I got to take a nap too. He's been pretty good. He only complained a little bit and I gave him this toy and he's been high playing with it. Um, and now we are getting to a rest stop. And we'll just uh, take him out and walk him around so he stretches his leg a little, he likes it a little bit. Oh yeah. And you've been driving uh, the speed limit the whole time. Yep. I hope. <laughs> Obeying the law. 
For yeah. the most part. There's the cop waiting for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not for speeding. Well, this is much emptier than what I'm usually used to seeing it. That's closed. Hardly anybody. We are here! How exciting! Logan! Hi! We're at Disney! We're officially at Disney! Where dreams come true! Your first trip! And we are driving to our resort, which is the Yacht Club. They said our room was already ready. We are six minutes away. So we got here, what, in three and a half hours? Pretty much, yeah. We did have to stop to drop Jasper off. And we stopped for a break, bathroom break. A little less than three minutes. <laughs> Logan, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, so excited. We're gonna try to go to the pool. Stormalong Bay, which is a, the best pool at Disney. We don't have a plan set in stone because I've read everywhere that when traveling with a baby you shouldn't have those expectations because plans could change well very fast. <laughs> so the idea is to go to the pool and maybe go by Hollywood Studios tonight but we'll see if we have time. <laughs> What are you complaining about? You're ready to get out of there? Almost. We're here. Disney's Yacht Club. We gotta come outside here at some point. Logan, to take a picture. Get a picture of you at your first Disney resort stay. Hey, how are you? How are you? Doing great, thanks. Checking in. Checking in, yes. Hey, buddy. Logan. You're at Disney? Hooray. We haven't been here in a while. You can't tell, but I'm smiling. Yeah, we're going to have to do some sign for smiling. I can't believe how empty this is. I feel weird even speaking. So I'm pretty much the only person speaking. And we're actually trying to see if they have a room on the first floor. Because right now we have a room on the third floor. And it would just be easier if we could get a room on the first floor with the stroller and other stuff we have to carry around. I know! I feel like I have to whisper. Logan was just screaming. There you go. He doesn't believe in whisper. And Daddy was able to get us a room on the first floor. Yay! All right, so we are looking for 1051. Seems like that way. What do you think so far, buddy? He's like, yeah, this will do. We're here. Ding. 1051. <laughs> na, 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 na. Yay! Logan. Look at our view, buddy! That's nice! We have a view of the boardwalk! What do you think? It'll do, Stu? It'll do. How nice is this? Alright, so Daddy went to get the rest of the things from the car. Actually, he's bringing the car to uh, put the rest of our luggage because, well, you saw all the stuff that we have in the car. We're not bringing everything down. Because as I mentioned, we are going to um, Mississippi. And that was really the purpose for our trip. So Logan can meet his grandparents. He's so excited. They're finally going to meet him. I think at this point they have waited long enough. Um, obviously they wanted to meet him before. But because you know what? It wasn't the best moment. But uh, I think now we're... We're pretty comfortable. They got the vaccine already, thankfully. And uh, there's no keeping this kid away from them any longer. He wants me to keep him like walking. He is so excited. He's looking at everything because 
he doesn't get out much the only times we walk around is around our neighborhood that's it so this is his first walk somewhere that is not around our neighborhood he's like keep walking what is that it's a fountain what do you think of the fountain cool very cool but we've decided not to go to hollywood studios tonight because it would just be too rushed we're just gonna go to the pool for a while the park closes at 7 p.m so we wouldn't have a lot of time it's 4 30 right now we're gonna go to the pool for a while and then he has to go for a nap so we're gonna have a chill night just relax and enjoy our room has a really nice view and it's just you know getting out of the day-to-day -day routine for a little bit and he's so excited he hasn't cried at all because this is so new for him he's He's happy to be exploring. He's a happy baby. Okay, we're just getting to the pool. Stormalong Bay. Hooray for Stormalong Bay. Logan is interested. Logan is excited. He's been in a pool before. We have a pool in our house. This is but, his uh, second time. Yeah. But this was pretty awesome. Yeah, Let's we don't have this about pool. It. Yeah, we don't have nowhere near this pool. What do you think, Logan? Oh, he likes the sand. <laughs> he likes the sand texture. Yay! Hey! Logan! You want to sit here and hang out? <laughs> It was getting chilly, so we got him out of the water. We changed him, and we are back here just hanging out, watching the sunset. It's so beautiful. Um, we got here a little late, so we didn't have a lot of time to enjoy the pool, but I think um, for a little bit, he really liked it. He loved the sand. And now he should take a nap. We are back in the room. Logan is um, napping in his stroller and yeah i'm a little tired <laughs> it's starting to hit me i did wake up at 2 45 a.m today anyway so we were thinking about ordering some food because now apparently you can order them right or order it and that's what we hear so bring the phone let's do it we can order it to go so we have that restaurant the uh what's it called ale, ale and compass, and compass. here at the yacht club so we're gonna see if we can order some food to go because we don't want to actually go to the restaurant. I don't want good. pickled peppers and onions. That's, that's no good. Bacon jam, pub cheese, and citrus butter. That roasted garlic shrimp looks really good. Okay, so we just order the food and Logan is napping. So I'm gonna take a 15 minute nap so I can have some energy and maybe go walk around the boardwalk. And this guy also decided to take a 15 minute nap. Shh, baby sleeping. All right, nap time while our food gets ready. All right, so we all took naps. That guy is up, up and about trying to explore. And we got our food. My husband here went to pick it up. I had some help. Uh huh. He came with me. And it looks pretty good. I just wanted uh, two appetizers, so I got this bisque and some shrimp and you got what beef was that? short ribs right looks all right With nice to um, have see. dinner here in the room because well you know making the best of everything it works yeah. well and we have a nice it? we have a nice view yeah definitely all right this guy is bundled up like mickey so we could go for a little walk around the boardwalk and hopefully he'll fall asleep because it is his bedtime already but he's very excited this is at Disney so it's hard to fall asleep mama hey look Mickey ready ready and look at how empty this place is <laughs> yeah it's just us in the lobby here mind you it's a bit late but uh yeah 
Just Logan in the lobby. <laughs> hey, buddy. He's wide awake still. <laughs> I guess they took the giant globe out of the center, so yeah, that was in people the center. wouldn't touch it constantly. Right. Makes sense. That used to be a centerpiece as you walk through. You want to oh. keep walking? You'll learn. Yeah. The boardwalk is completely empty. We have it all to ourselves. Under the boardwalk. Mind you, it is it is late, but we usually don't go to bed before midnight. This guy though, he's supposed to be asleep already, but he's not having it. He's way too excited. He's like, no way. This is the first time I'm, you know, out of my house at this time of night. <laughs> Sensory overload. Yeah. He might sleep sleep in late tomorrow, we'll see. While we were walking down the empty boardwalk, we did come across our room. And you know how we know? Because there's a big old can of Lysol just sitting on the counter. Safety first, folks. Safety first. You could have just like jumped the bushes. That would have saved a lot of time. We just walk right out the back door and just toss the stroller and Logan over the bush. But hey, we did that with Jasper at one point. We did. We had a room here because the yacht club does allow dogs. It's like a ghost boardwalk. So this dude is just amazing. He doesn't seem bothered by the fact that it's a little chilly, probably colder than we've ever taken him on a walk, but he is bundled up. However, he's just super stimulated by all the lights. Well, he doesn't get out much. Yeah. And you know, whenever it was Christmas time in our neighborhood, he was very attracted to all the lights, all was, the decorations. He was younger. He was just starting to get to that point. Yeah. Now he's definitely seeing the, the light. <laughs> hey! Pretty cool, huh? So the eerie ghost boardwalk walk continues. We haven't seen one single person. No. Everything's still closed. There's a worker inside. Oh, there you go. Another person. Cleaning up. So at least we know that the apocalypse didn't happen. What do you think, sir? He's awake? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. He's just checking it out. Very interested in all the lights. And here is the beach club. They are not open. They are completely closed, the whole beach club resort, except for the villas. The beach club villas are open, but that's all the way in the back. And this is the slide. We've done the slide before. Um, we didn't today. I guess we didn't take full advantage of the pool, which is amazing, as I said. But uh, I will insert a video, a past video vlog of both the beach club and the yacht club. Two different videos, when we stayed at the beach club and then when we stayed at the yacht club. Why don't you link that link? I'm going to link that link because there's a bit more of a tour of the resort and a little bit more of Stormer Long Bay. I mean, check this place out. Isn't it a maze bomb? I feel like I just want to jump in. Hi, buddy. We are back in the room and I'm going to give you a very, very brief tour of the room. Um, I have a video where my husband here gave you a good tour of the room and grounds at the Yacht Club last time we stayed here, which was a couple of years ago. But anyway, I'll do a quick tour of this room, but I will link that video below in case you want to watch that. Welcome, friends. Be our guest. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just walked in and the first thing you have here is this little um, coffee station area and there is a fridge right here, a mini fridge. Of course, we have uh, Logan stuff and Red Bull because the <laughs> and coffee, of course. And yeah, Logan has taken over our lives. <laughs> it's all his stuff. And then the smiling baby section. Yeah, he doesn't come included. Oh my goodness, he's loving this so much. But um, yeah, we gotta put him to bed. <laughs> so let's move it along. Please continue. Double sinks. Um, I brought this from home and I've been doing that lately even before COVID because it's just a lot easier to uh, for me to wash my hands 
rather than uh, use a bar soap. You just like, these are so easy. You get a, a hair dryer. I already uh, unpacked a little, but I didn't do a full unpack because as I mentioned, we're only gonna be here two nights and then we're off to Mississippi. And here's the toilet, the shower. We gotta take a shower soon after this guy goes to bed. Bar soap, so you get um, body wash, shampoo, conditioner. So there's a closet here, storage space, storage, storage, storage. We put our hats up there. These are mine, these are my husband's because he's taller. And uh, okay, there's a safe and an ironing board. Uh, this is actually Logan's luggage, the huge one. And that's Logan's. And these are these are ours <laughs> but uh yeah so i mean it's a standard room two double beds flat screen tv i believe this is a pull out bed right yeah yeah and you get a lamp a desk you could pull out this table as you saw that's where we had dinner a mirror and that pretty much sums it up then you have the balcony. I think I showed this earlier. We have a nice view of the boardwalk. We have two little chairs and a small table right here. It would be nice for morning coffee, I think. That's probably what we're gonna do tomorrow. We were thinking of uh, ordering some in-room dining breakfast. I mean, from the in-room menu. And there you have it. Buddy, you gotta go to bed. He's way past his bedtime, but he's so excited. Yeah, look at him. He's happy. He's like, I'm so excited to be at Disney. I don't know that I'm at Disney, but I'm excited. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll be at the Flower and Garden, which will be our next video. So with that, we <laughs> shall say good night. Happy baby says good night. Good night, buddy. Sweet dreams. Ha <laughs> ha. And I will say goodnight too, so take care, be good, see you on the next one, ciao.